Hello everyone, in today's video I'll be showing you how to write a piece of code to merge two PDF files into one. In this video, I will be using these two files, frog1.pdf and frog2.pdf. Each file contains one image, so what I will do is I will take these two files and merge them into one. Let's see how we can do this. Starting off, we need to import a few modules. The first one is from pypdf2 import pdf file merger. Alright, so pypdf2 is a module. Inside it we have a class called pdf file merger which we will be using in today's video. Okay, and we'll also import OS. Also remember that pypdf2 and pdf file merger the names are case sensitive, so be careful while writing them to make sure your code works well. Moving on, we will create a variable called path and save the path of our folder. This folder contains the files we want to merge. So just save it into a variable. After that, we want to create a list. Now this list will contain the names of the files which we want to merge. So let's name the list PDF files and let's create the list. The first file we want to merge is frog1.pdf and the second file is frog2.pdf. Okay, now the next step is we want to create an object of the PDF file merger class so that we can use the functions inside this class. So let's create the object. Merger is equal to PDF file merger. Okay, so merger is our object. And now the next step is we will create a for loop for files in PDF files. So what this for loop is doing is it will loop through this list and then it will pick up these files and merge them. How do we merge them? To do it, we need to use a function called append. So merger dot append. This append function will help us to combine the two files into one. So let's pass in the path of the files. So path plus files. Okay, now the last step is we need to write this information into a new file and then save that file. So that new file will contain the merged um, output. So to do that, we need to use the write function. So merger.write. Now inside the write function, you need to pass in the path of the new file being created. So path plus, I will name the new file merged.pdf. So merged.pdf will contain the contents of frog1.pdf and frog2.pdf. But before we proceed, I want to write this piece of, co piece of um, code. If not, os.path.exists People who have watched my uh, previous videos know that I use this line quite often whenever I'm using, uh, uh, whenever I'm writing code to handle files. This is because you don't want to overwrite your existing files and a good way to prevent that from happening is to put this piece of line every time you create or save a new file. So inside exists, you just pass in path plus merged.pdf so it will check whether this new path exists if it exists it won't proceed if it does not exist it will proceed with the code and also make sure that the indentation is right okay and so yeah that's it you have your merged file but the one last thing is you want to close up all the temp files so merger.close this will clear up all the temp files created uh, by all these functions. Uh, so just make sure you use the close function so that your 
PC does not uh, pile up all sorts of rubbish temp files. Okay, so let's save this and then let's run. Okay, so it should be here. Open up the folder. And here you can see that there is a merged.pdf file. Okay, so let's open this. Uh, let me actually show you that this file actually contains two images and not one. See, there you go. This is frog1.pdf and this is frog2.pdf and they're both in the same file. And you can also see that it's two pages because we merged them, right? So I think this piece of code is very useful, especially because I, I know most of you are probably thinking that we can just use a third party app and why do we need to write a piece of code? But the problem is uh, with third party apps, most of the time you need to upload your files uh, into someone else's website and then they will send you back a file where the, uh, the merged output will be sent back to you. But the problem with that is if you have some sensitive documents, like, um, I don't know, something, some personal information, you don't want to upload it into a third party app, right? So what you can do is you can write this piece of code and the code will do it for you. And it's, it's very simple, it's very easy to use, and it's just a few lines. And um, if you have any questions, please do ask in the comments below. And if you have found this video useful, or please do like and share this video and please subscribe for future videos thank you very much for watching